These are the dumbest things that have happened in history. Ricardo reversed into it. What on earth is he doing? But we've got to start with this guy, because he invaded the track in the middle of a race. He made this stupid move because he was protesting at being unfairly dismissed from his job, so he ran across the track. The grass, and what on earth is he doing? I bet you don't see that every day. But it was nothing compared to what these two geniuses did in the race. I feel this was the stupidest move they could have made. When they were both fighting for track position, obviously it was affecting their race pace as well. But then they thought, why are we the only ones getting affected? So he just gets it horribly wrong. Punts around peak, contact, everything broken. Yep, all four cars retired. Genius. Later, you'll see this driver making the dumbest move multiple times. But first, you got to see this. This driver made a stupid mistake. Because when he was trying to overtake, he did this. Perfect defending by Fiat, but Ricardo just locked it up and... Now, sure. You might say, that's not a big deal, it happens. But wait, Daniel Ricciardo didn't just stop there. He made things even stupider. Ricciardo reversed into him. I'm pretty sure he's the only driver who got a penalty for reversing into another car. Nice. Even Kvyat didn't hold back. I'll buy him a rear view mirror for the next race, so... Now that's some achievement. But no achievement is bigger than this because no one stopped this damaged car from going on track. Oh my goodness, what has happened? Stop, 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 stop! Now, even though full respect to all the marshals, still, that was dumb. Thank God nobody got hurt. But you know what was even dumber? When a safety car was deployed in this race, all of a sudden this driver, Alexander Wurtz, overtook and came right in front of it. Now, I feel it's a pretty common thing to know. No one goes in front of the safety car, but he did. And wait, the stupidity doesn't just stop there, because he went even further and did this. Past the safety car and starts in front of him, and the safety car locks up and hits him. He allegedly brake tested the safety car, and he was the race leader. Incredible. But not as incredible as this, because when the Porsche Cup was going on, nobody saw this huh? coming. Et une voiture! Incroyable image de Jules Goudon posée sur le toit de Geoffrey de Narda! Man, this is why I love Porsches. Good weight distribution, along with speed, control, design, torque, basically every single thing. Yeah, sorry about that. I just want a Porsche guy so badly. Anywho, brace yourself. Things are now going to get completely insane, like the stupidity that happened in this race. It was the 2012 X Games. Everybody was looking forward to it. But specifically, 2012 was a very important year for X Games. Because Sebastian Loeb, you know the one, who's the nine-time world rally champion. Yeah, that guy was racing in that year's X Games as well. So you can see how important that race must be for all his competitors. Finally, all of them got the shot to prove themselves, as they can now showcase their skills. We are with Travis Pastrana, and Andy oh. Scott goes to second position. Oh, no! I don't even know what to say at this point. That... that was beyond stupid. And yes, in case you're wondering, they are professional race car drivers. Boy, ain't no way, boy. Thank God Sebastian wasn't in that heat. He was in the next one. And yes, he won that race. By a 12 seconds gap. No surprise there. But you will be surprised with what happened here. In fact, you'll be shocked to see what these drivers ended up doing. It was the Belgian Grand Prix. The Spa Francochamps, one of the most famous tracks in the world. It has created many exciting races over the years, but unfortunately, along with these races, it has also created many unfortunate incidents as well, especially at its famous corner, the Eau Rouge. Clearly, it's a serious corner, which basically means drivers should be careful here and obviously should not do anything stupid. But then, here come these two geniuses who might have thought, let's do something crazy. Both Jacques Villeneuve and his teammate Ricardo Zonta made a deal as to how they're going to go through that corner. Flat out, he said. They're going to go flat out. It's uh, visually not as impressive as it used to be. It's going to be flat out. What do you mean? <laughs> what, do you, what do you mean? <laughs> now, what's interesting is Villeneuve has already been in an unfortunate incident last year. That too, at that same corner. And even though nobody was hurt, and 
In fact, he even walked off as if nothing happened. Still, one might be a little bit cautious. I mean, you don't want that to happen again, right? Also, due to the structure, elevation and other things of that corner, drivers usually did lift off a bit, at least in the olden days, just so they can control the car perfectly and get the best line. But since Villeneuve said, flat out, you know things are going to get crazy. And so when he went through that corner, what happened next? Corner without lifting, and the result was almost a carbon copy. Now, I wish I could say this was the end of it. And trust me, I wish. But nope, the stupidity didn't stop there. Even after all that, even after Villeneuve colliding twice now at that corner, which clearly indicates that going flat out might not work, his teammate still didn't take the hint. And so, as the original deal said flat out, he went flat out through that corner too. And I bet by now you can guess what happened next. The Brazilian didn't back off from the challenge and suffered. Yep. Both drivers out, just because of a dumb deal. And I just thought, this, this cannot be true, this has to be somebody else's car, it can't be my car. Well, a bet's a bet, I guess. At least nobody was hurt, thank God. But yeah, even the fans who watched it live couldn't believe it. But I guess you're not considered a fan until you get some merch. So to get any latest cap, jacket, or an awesome quality racing t-shirt, and that too of any team or driver you want, click the link in the description below. And the best part is, they're at the best prices ever. So, link is in the description below. But now, out of all the things shown earlier, here's the most foolish moment in racing history. Every driver in racing makes some mistakes. Even legends once in a while make an error as well. So even though Michael Schumacher is a legend, even arguably the best driver of all time, he still made some few errors in his career. But out of those, there was one mistake which was so stupid it almost even ended his career. Michael Schumacher was competing for the F1 championship. Throughout the year, he drove brilliantly, but so did Damon Hill. Just like Schumacher, Hill also drove brilliantly that year. So all in all, things were pretty close. In the end, it got so close that the championship battle went down to the last race of the season, the Australian Grand Prix. And before that last race, the difference between those two was only one point. I guess you can see how important that race was. Both Michael and Damon had a great start. They started competing right from the beginning, but it was Michael who was leading. He was also the one who was one point ahead in the championship, so all he had to do was finish in front of Damon Hill, but not so fast. Hill was right behind Michael almost the entire race, even through the first fuel stops. So clearly, it was game on, but still Schumacher was ahead, and after some laps, it looked like he was comfortably controlling the lead, then, he made a mistake. Schumacher's made the mistake. He hits the wall. He's damaged his own car. Schumacher couldn't afford to lose the lead from Hill, who, like before, was still right behind Michael. And since there was only one point difference, whoever finishes ahead will win the championship. Right after Schumacher joined the track again, Hill got even closer to Schumacher. But this time, he got so close that he was about to overtake Michael. And he even got a great place to do it. The next turn, he can take the inside line, overtake, and that'll be that. So what happened when they went through that turn? Schumacher's off, Schumacher's lost time, yeah. Hill goes by. Oh, out, out goes Schumacher. And then he blocks the inside on the right. He, Damon is coming in, now that's bad from Schumacher. Schumacher should have known his car was damaged. Since both Schumacher and Hill retired from the race, Schumacher won the championship by that same one point. Now, I guess you saw what actually happened there, right? Unashamedly weeping tears of joy and happiness at the knowledge that after a very gruelling season, when his team has been accused of cheating, has won the World Championship. Now, even though one way or another he did win the championship, the thing is, Schumacher still wasn't done yet. In 1997, Michael was once again fighting for the championship this time against the mighty Jacques Villeneuve. You know, the guy who made that crazy bet. Well, in 1997, he and his car were actually pretty quick. So quick that he was challenging Michael for the championship. Once again, it went down to the last race. And once again, Michael was ahead by just one point. The situation couldn't have been any more similar. But now, there was a difference. People were on to Schumacher. Due to his recent past, there were already a lot of questions on his sportsmanship. But Schumacher did clear those questions. Even the rest want to see a straight fight between Jack and myself. That's what I want to see. I mean, I want to win the race and I want to win that way the championship and not by 
any kind of accident or, or whatever. So after all this, you can expect to have a clean race, right? Wrong. When Jacques was about to catch Michael, he knew that it was his only chance to overtake. Because Villeneuve is all over him, look. And so, when Jacques finally tried to overtake by going on the inside, what did Schumacher do? He's going He's through! Oh, oh yes! Oh. Help! I don't think. Help goes Michael Schumacher! That's it, they watch his hands. So, you know, I went to win the race and I went to win that way the championship and not by any kind of accident or whatever. That's not my target. Well, to be fair, guys, that's how racing was done back then. So it wasn't just Schumacher, but this time, clearly it didn't work for him. Michael was disqualified from the 1997 championship, and Villeneuve won the championship. So yeah, overall, crazy times.